In previous exercise, we saw two types of calculated columns, string type and mathematical calculation type. Similarly, we can use case expression to calculate a column. But case expressions are required when you need a condition like if then else. If those complexity is there to calculate a column, then case expression is very suitable. Let's see how it works. Okay, let's open SQL console. So this case statement will determine a column value based on a conditions. So before jumping into the case statement, I would like to give you one tip. So if you want to see the standard syntax for any statement, for example, select, you can select so it will give the syntax select column name so here you you can mention column name by replacing like star from table name then where condition then group by condition so like that we can also get a select statement uh, syntax for case so to get this condition what i am doing is just type what you want then press control space bar then it will it, the pop-up will come to select what you want so the shortcut is control plus space bar so it will give the pop-up window to select what kind of uh, select statement or what kind of case statement you want okay so now, now we know our books table select star from as I said if it is a case sensitive keep it in double quotes so we have books table and here I want to create a new column the column name is called class under the class, I want to segregate data based on MRP value. If the MRP value is less than 100, then it should be a general class. If MRP is between 100 and 200, then it should be a premium class. If not in both of those cases, then it should be a limited class. So let's see how it works. Select book id comma mrp comma here i would like to start case case when category is equal to sorry it should be mrp when mrp less than 100 then it should be a general class like that when MRP greater than or equal to 100 and MRP less than 200 then it should be a premium class if not in those two cases then I can use else limited so whatever the values comes under uh, comes more than 200 then it will be a limited category and as so I want to give the column name class from books table let's run this so here you can see I have book book ID MRP and MRP less than 100 up to here it's a general class and from 100 to 200 up to here it's a premium class and greater than 200 it become limited class 
so that's how if you correlate with if then else condition then if mrp is 100 then general else if mrp is between 100 and 200 then premium else it's a limited so like that the if then else condition can achieve with the case statement okay let's see another example so for example if i remove this else and i will add one more when condition when mrp greater than or equal to 200 and mrp less than 1000 then limited so if i run this part press f8 okay something is missing incorrect syntax near limited okay i missed then press f8 book id mrp that's fine and generally same as previous query and premium and then limited we have uh, greater than 200 and less than 1000 but i didn't mention anything about 1120 mrp because when you when your case statement not considered any value in your categories like limited or premium general then system automatically defines a null value for that excluded values so mrp 1120 is not in this in these three sets so that's why that value become null so here we are using in the when condition we are using actual column mrp but in the then condition we are using some derived values on our own but in the then condition also you can use actual uh, column names so to see that we'll see another example let's see the book table once again here we have a column called isbn if isbn value is there show the isbn if isbn is null or blank something then uh, mention a text called this book is not authorized something like that this book is not registered okay let's see that so we'll use this one select book id this case we are dealing with isbn so i'm just keeping the isbn for a reference case when isbn is not null we know all these keywords right is not null then isbn i can bring the actual column else this book is not registered and as is isbn underscore new so here and this column is just for reference so here you can see now wherever the isbn value exists we got the isbn value in the new column new calculated column but when isbn is null then we got the text called this book is not registered so that's how you can refer actual columns in when condition and then condition wherever even in else condition also you can re refer some other column name or based on your requirement so you can decide that but in all three cases when then else all these cases you can refer actual column of a table okay so just to recap case works like a if then else and whenever your case conditions not 
satisfy any of the record in a table then those values returned as null values like we see in thousand case the more than thousand value and also in case statement when then else are able to refer original column call uh, original table column like ispn here okay so i would like to give one exercise to solve by using case statement and in the next session i will provide the solution to that exercise so this is the book table books table what you are seeing from la previous sessions so this book table i would like to select a book id and for each book id i would like to generate three columns pdf printed ebook and if it is a printed book then select x for printed if it is a pdf then x for pdf like that i would like to see the result so for example book b01 is a printed book so i put x here b02 is a ebook so i put x here in ebook column so like that i would like to generate three calculated columns and populate those three columns whatever the category the book comes under we will see the solution of this exercise in next session so please try by using case statement and then cross check the result with my solution